composition i have my clips and my audio played out so now that we have our clips situated we comp the second clip and now what we want to add a solid layer now go a couple keyframes ahead with the solid layer drag it out you do want to now pre-comp this solid layer after that add a marker and now we're going to go inside of that solid layer pre-comp and we're going to add fractal noise it is a default plugin inside of after effects so don't worry about that now we're going to add our fractal type to dynamic and our noise type to spline. Then we're going to go down to transform and we're going to bump up our scale to about 1000. And now we're going to animate the contrast, brightness and evolution. So we're going to click the clock and add our keyframes. After that, we're going to make sure the first keyframe is a straight solid white layer by bumping down the brightness and now going to the end of the keyframe and making sure the screen goes about 75 to 85 percent black so here i'm just messing with the keyframes but as you see it animates fading down from a solid white to about a half dark background and that's because the black areas would be the second clip and the white areas would be the first clip now what we want to do is highlight over the keyframes and right click keyframe assistant easy ease and now basically right there on the beat drop that's where the markers place we're gonna want to make this fade on that beat drop so that's what i'm gonna be doing with the graphs i'm probably gonna speed it up because i did i was taking a, a while but i'll show you what the graph looks like when i'm finished with it what we're gonna do is go to the second clip and we're gonna click track mat under track mat we're gonna change this to fractal we're gonna click on the alpha mat to change it to luma mat as well as click to invert so now it'll look like this that's pretty much the transition but we're gonna do some more tweaking so here i'm just looking over it and it looks pretty cool very clean flows nicely and here you can see the graph i did three separate graphs and i'm still adjusting it here but you can see that it does look very clean and it just suits the vibe. Now I'm going to go into the last bit of this tutorial and that is the speed ramping. So for the second clip, I'm going to timer map this. I do have a video on how to timer map if you guys want to learn more in depth on how to graphs and how to properly timer map and have flow in your music videos. So you guys can go check that out, link down below. But now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this second clip pre-comp. We're going to right click, timer map. We're going to add our first keyframe and then now we're going to pick our frame that we want to end on and add that keyframe there. Now we're gonna easy ease the keyframes, go into our graph editor and make this clean, simple curve graph. Just like that. Now what we wanna do is enable frame blending and now we have this final masterpiece. I'm not gonna show you the VFX that I added like I did in the preview, that's up to you guys. But this video is just to show you how to make this quick and easy transition. So if you guys did like this video, please leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new, leave a comment on what you wanna see me make a tutorial on next, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.